Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Uh, today we have a flip through of Harry Potter coloring wizards, the wizarding world. Um, as you all know and if you don't already know then you you will want to know, uh, we have a, a Potterathon coming up. Uh, and it's everything to do with Harry Potter, uh, all different arts and crafts as well as coloring and all sorts of things coming up in October. Um, and I purchased this book specifically to do that, uh, to, to do my, my part in that. So I was asked to do a flip through of this book so I'm going to quickly do a flip through of it because I haven't yet. It is 90 plus coloring pages and it's the cover is very very thick and I have flipped around it but I haven't gone completely through it so we'll both do it together. Okay so we have Harry Potter Wizarding World of course this is the title page and then we've got this page here which is this page which is really kind of cool wonderful wonderful page then we've got another title page and then we have our book belongs to page and this tells the story of Harry pretty much from start to finish uh, this is Harry when he was a baby with uh, Dumbledore and I can never remember her name that's horrible <laughs> but with his teacher there and then we have Harry's aunt and uncle and cousin and then Harry with all of the letters pouring into the living room these are not single-sided pictures so they are printed on both sides so you, you know if you're going to use um, markers and that sort of thing you might have to be really careful with that uh, this is uh, Dagon Alley and then we have the boats heading up to the school And then we have this sorting hat. I love the frames on some of these pictures. And then we have Hermione with the sorting hat on. And then we have the feast in the banquet hall there. And throwing all their hats up. And then we have Oh, my brain has just gone completely blank. I know who this is. I don't know why I can't remember his name. But we have his little cabin in the woods there with the spider and his poopy dog. Let's see, what, can, what other little things can we find? Because we've got the spider there and the dog. And he's playing his flute. But I'm not seeing any other creatures up in the up in the background or anything. So, and then we have the chess pieces, and we've got Harry with the broken wand and the sword of Gryffindor, and oh my goodness. The free elf. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I can't remember. My brain is just gone completely blank. So I'm just going to shut up now. And <laughs> I'm just going to turn the pages because I don't know why, but my brain has gone completely blank on all of these characters' names. It's horrible. It is a quite large book, and the pages are quite thick. So, um, you know, if you're careful, you, you may be able to use a. a different medium like a wet medium on it. I wouldn't suggest using an alcohol marker on it like I said because they are double-sided pages so and 
but it is quite nice. I'm going to see if I can make this a little bit wider screened. Let's see. Well, that's a little better. That gives it you at least the full book, full page. Then the the letter that eats itself. That's kind of cool. And then we've got. The little little uh, nymphs, fairies, nasty little creatures. And the face off. And then we've got this one. And Harry fighting the snake. All different scenes from the the different movies. And it's not just from one movie. It's all different movies. Or it could just be from the one. Cool. This one here with the teachers and students and trying different things. Professor Snipe. And then we have a double page spread of the school. It goes all the way over. Way over. There we go. Hermione and that one, the psychic teacher, and Harry with the magic map. Ooh, the Dementus. A whole bunch of Dementos there. And I do believe it's. I think this is Hermione or somebody protecting Harry. I have watched the movies and my brain is like they're on the TV right now and my brain is completely gone blank. This is the time medallion. Oh, this is a, such a stiff book. And it's so hard to turn the pages in it to get to the full picture. I think that's the only thing so far that I found that I don't like about the book is that um, the pictures are a bit more difficult to get to because of the, the thickness of the book and the binding. And it is a larger book, like it's a little it's a little bit bigger than Joanna Basford's book size. So. And then we have the visiting witches and wizards for the games for the cup. the other professor. And there's this the cup the 
Games Cup. And there it is, rejecting. Somebody put a name in that didn't belong. And then we have this one. And the dragon. Then we have the prom. He just does not look like he's happy at all. I don't think he was pleased about his ruffles, if I remember it right. And there's Hermione in her dress. And there's the wizarding cup. And the maze. there they are in the Chamber of... I'm not sure if that's in the Chamber of Secrets or not, but he's got this the secret in his hand there, so... Or the, the crystal ball thing. I'm not quite sure where that is. And we've got this one here, which is the... My brain has just gone completely blank. And there is Luna. And there's Harry teaching that young wizard. Can't remember her name either. And then we have the house elf. And then we have this one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to shush because it, my brain is just not letting me do anything. And there is the family tree for the blacks. the full double page spread. And then we've got them lighting off the fireworks in the hall. And the firework dragon chasing her off. And then we've got I think these are both Dementos, but I'm not positive. I don't remember seeing them in the... I just don't remember those faces, and I think they're Dementos. There they are again in the hall. A chamber of Secrets there. And there is Dumbledore and he who shall not be named, Tom Riddle, in the fight out. And there's Dumbledore, Harry, Hermione, and Ron. And of course Harry. And not quite sure what scene this is from. It looks like he's burning a piece of paper or something. And there's the Weasleys, the Weasley brothers. And there's Hermione uh, mixing the poison thing there. And there's where Harry wins that vial of confidence there. And there's Ron winning the match. The Quibbage match. And 
there is Harry pouring a memory into the bowl with Dumbledore. And I can't remember who this is and where this one's from. I know it's in there, but my brain isn't going to let me tell, let me say it. And there's a Quibbage match. And there's Harry and his girlfriend with their first kiss. Uh, some more Quibbage match. Harry and Dumbledore just before Dumbledore dies. And it's right after Dumbledore dies. I'm running through the forest. All the different Harrys. And there we have the house elves and yeah, brain's just not working. Sorry guys. And then we have them in the elevator. And there we have Harry at his parents' grave. And there we see, have Harry and the deer, his, his protector type thing there. I'm just going to, not quite sure what this one is. Looks like a demon coming out of the bottle there. And I do believe this is Luna's father. And then we have this one here. I love this one. I think that one might be one of the ones that I do. And then we have He Who Shall Not Be Named using Dumbledore's wand. And then we have him and Harry facing off. And then we have where Dobby passed away after Harry had pa had buried him. And, and we've got another dragon or that type of creature. And Harry and his friends. It's quite a busy book. There's Professor Snipe and Harry's mother, Lily. And that's during the battle on the castle. There's Harry. And that is the last picture in this book. So the publisher is uh, Ra Raoul Goff, um, Insight Editions, and it is copyrighted for the Werner Brothers Entertainment Wizarding World characters, names, and related. Indica R Warner Brothers Entertainment Publishing Rights. 
a really nice book. Uh, like I said, the paper is really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, my brain's not working anymore, so I can't get together with all the names. I am will probably be doing the Dolby picture, this picture, and one other um, in my my part my stream for my part of this Harry Potter a thon. It will be going on in October from October 15th until the 17th, I do believe. Let me check. Yes, so the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Um, I think it starts off the 15th in the evening, but I can't be positive on that. Of course, go to uh, Emily Illustrates um, or any of the, the individuals. I do believe Emily has it posted on her Instagram. Absolutely wonderful book. Um, definitely something that will come in handy for the Harry Potter a thon. Of course, I will leave a link to this on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, so um, it will be an affiliate link. Other than that, guys, um, sorry, I, my brain's not working and I couldn't remember everybody's name. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, my brain just said no. So, but you got to see the majority of the book. Like I said, this is a very, very large book. It is, let's measure it, just for the fun of it. i got to turn this over. Let's turn it over to inches so I can actually measure it properly. So it is 11 inches by 10 inches. So much, much bigger than our 8 by 10 that we're used to. Yeah, it's 11 by 10. If not, yeah. Yeah. 11. Yeah, 11 by 10. So it's a big book. <laughs> and it's it's a nice book and I I really really like it. So And like I said, if my brain was working, I'd be able to tell you all the characters' names. Unfortunately, my brain's not working. There are certain ones that I know definitely what they are, and some that I don't. And for some reason, you know, my brain isn't letting me say all of them. So, wonderful book. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Of course, remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Thank you all for watching. You have a great day and a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye for now.